Welcome back everyone, Jug here, and in this Fallout 76 video, I'm going to be building something really out of the ordinary. This is probably quite a bit taller than you're used to seeing in Fallout. Most buildings are only around four stories. I'm going to use these trees to get this building up higher than normal. I'm also going to take these Tesla arc traps and line the inside of these rings with it and see if I can get a nice lighting effect off of it. Now building something like this, it does take a lot of patience and, you know, something of this magnitude. It It's not for everyone, but I'm going to go ahead and show you anyways. I'm going to show you how I build it coming up. Now this doesn't work with all trees, but some trees you can just climb up there and stick the camp right in the center, just like this. That's going to make it so I can build taller. Now with this, I've showed you this plenty of times before. I'm just building an arc around this, kind of like a curve here. And you got to do this with the doorways, not the walls. Make sure that those are all switch to doorways and then just pick these foundations up right up underneath them and just move them to the side like that. Then when you put the walls on you want to make sure that you check these walls make sure that they look nice and lined up but you want to make sure you're standing in in the center of them at all times when you're doing that. Now when you're finished, you should have a nice curve that looks about like this. And notice that I don't have to go all the way around here. I'm going to show you another way. Because this ground is kind of slanted, I can't get down in there and move those foundations around the way I want. So I'm going to use roofs. I'm going to go out from each one of these walls with five roofs. And then place a half wall on the end of those roofs. Then I can go back, get rid of the roof that's touched to the wall, and then just put them back. And this time I'm going to put the half wall on this side as well. Now I can clear up all of these roofs. I think. Yeah, I guess so. I'm skipping up to another one I've done here. Just going to switch this to a half wall. And do the same thing. Go back and get rid of these roofs. And Okay, so just to make sure you, that I, I've showed you exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to do one more here. Go all the way across with these roofs. Five roofs. And then place a half wall on the end of that. Then you can go back, get rid of one of these roofs, get rid of the wall, put the roof back. That's all you got to do. All. <laughs> yeah, it, it's quite a bit actually. But once you do one ring just like this, you don't have a lot of work ahead of you after that. The rest, you just need to build a big stairway up in the center so you can start stacking normal size walls on top of these half walls. Okay, so I'm having a, a difficult time pushing this wall out. I just realized I'm on the edge of the build limit there. Okay. So now I just want to take each one of these doorways, switch them into half walls, just like these half walls on the left here. So all I'm doing is just placing a roof on top of one of these doorways. 
And then on top of that roof, on, not on top of it, but connected to the roof, is a half wall. Just like I've been doing thus far. Now I can get rid of this doorway because these are connected to a foundation. If it, there was no foundation down there, I would not be able to get rid of that doorway. Now I'm going to take this roof, place it back on the half wall, go get another half wall, place it back just like that. Now you're probably wondering, surely there is some kind of blueprint that you can make. Speed this up a bit. You probably could. There might be a few blueprints that you could make out of these and trying to, I don't know, cut the process down somewhat. I was not having a whole lot of success with uh, with these blueprints. Even if I would just make one row that was attached to a foundation. For some reason the foundations wasn't plugging into the right spots. Um, I, I just wasn't having a whole lot of luck with the blueprints. Could have probably done two or three of these at a time, but I didn't want to make any mistakes. I wanted to make this very simple and not overcomplicate it for you. So I'm just doing this one at a time, going through one ceiling or one roof and then one half wall. So I've showed quite a few of these now. I wanted to make sure that you knew what I'm doing here. I, I've showed all the way up to the top. And now I also want to show you how I'm dealing with the bottom down here. You see there is a foundation down there connected to each of these walls as I'm going down them. And I'm going to do the same thing I'm doing up here. I'm just going to take a roof. Only this time I need two roofs because i got to get this small or the, the half wall to go away from that foundation. Just like that. Now I can go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of that get rid of the foundation underneath of it too well there we go now I can put this half wall right back in into place there now you, you do have to do this for each one of these segments going all the way around and I'm gonna go ahead and just jump ahead and show you what it looks like with a few more of these so there I've got I think five rows and we're just going to keep continuing this going all the way around now like I said there might be ways that you can shorten this process I mean maybe you could just take roofs all the way up to the other side and that way you only have to build half of these This is what it looks like when I'm standing in the center of it, just looking up. It is, it's weird. I mean, you're not going to see that very often. I, I, I can at least say that much. So I like the way this looked so much that I almost didn't put a building in here. But I did anyways. I put a simple two-story building. Okay, so it started with brick. But I ended up making the building inside out of the metal. And I think it looked a little better. Now the problem I came across was these walls. Because I was wanting to make these two towers on both sides kind of go all the way up to the top. They won't b work. I wasn't able to place them without getting rid of the half walls that were up against them. So I had to mark them by placing these half walls over here and then just using angled roofs I was able to place the half wall back. Now it would be a lot easier for me to show you on this one because it's a little further away. So see I've removed that half wall over there. Now I've placed this brick wall and then I'm going to put the half wall back with a wall here that I've already marked it with. To make sure that I don't lose that spot. Well 
Once I'm finished, I get a nice straight line of brick going down and contrasting against all those steel curves. And I go ahead and do it to the other side too. Not these other side sides, <laughs> but this, this side and then the back side. I do extend those out all the way up. And I did try it on the other sides and I didn't really like it too much. So I was forced to build this place a couple times. I actually lost this place twice. The first time was out in the ash heap. Um, it was, I guess it was too close to one of the events. And this time was out in the forest. Once again, it was too close to the event. Um, I guess, you know, I tested it. It didn't go away the first time. It did the second time. For whatever reason, that's fine. I was able to get the Tesla arcs in place. So I got that cool lighting effect that I was looking for and was able to light this place up and turn it on. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like seeing crazy stuff like this built in Fallout, hit that like button. Really helps out. I'll see you next time.